the Cole the Math Lady. Today we're going to be talking about multiplying and dividing signed numbers. And I'm going to start right off by giving you the rules so we can practice them. Okay, so when we are multiplying numbers that have the same signs, so whether that be positive times positive, the answer will be positive. Or if it's a negative times a negative, the answer will be positive. So if the signs are the same, the answer is positive. But if the signs are different, negative three times a positive five, our answer is always going to be negative. So in that case, we'd have a negative 15. Those are the rules. Let's apply them. Take a look at this example. Okay, problem number one, seven times three. So when we don't put that positive sign in front of a number, we assume that it's positive. So my answer here is going to be a positive 21. What about a negative seven times a negative three? If we look at our rules, they have the same sign. So our answer will be a positive 21. Look at this one, a negative seven times a three. So we're gonna assume it's a positive three. The signs are different. That means our answer is going to be a negative 21 and seven times a negative three, they have different signs. Our answer will be a negative 21. Let's talk about division now. Turns out that the same rules apply. So if they have the same signs, the answer is gonna be positive. If they have different signs, the answer is gonna be negative. So take a look. Positive 28 divided by a negative four. We have different signs. So our answer is going to be a negative seven. Negative 28 divided by a negative four, we have the same side, so our answer is gonna be a positive seven. Positive 28 divided by positive four, same signs, it'll be positive. Whoops, there we go. <laughs> and a negative 28, and divided by a positive, we have different signs, so the answer is going to be a negative seven. Okay, that's it. If you can remember when multiplying, same signs equals positive, different signs equals negative. It's that simple. Make sure you try the practice problem so you can drill this and get it in your head just for yourself. Okay, it's the Cold Math Lady. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.